Hello guys, welcome back to another episode by the Pokemonster. And as you can see, it's another Pokemon card, Mail Day. But, it's not the season finale that I promised you. What happened? I checked how many four trainers I have at the moment. And I figured I want to have a few more to have enough content to ensure a really nice Pokemon card Mail Day season finale episode. So for that matter, let's dive straight into this new Pokemon card Mail Day and let's see if we can find some more four trainer cards to add to the four trainer binder. So the pile of envelopes is starting to decrease in volume. In the past few weeks we have opened quite some envelopes together. Uh, there are still new envelopes coming in but the quantity of envelopes is decreasing as well. I'm starting to order a bit more expensive cards right now. What you see here on screen might be a bit older envelope already. We have a Kyogre, we have an Creamy. I still have the Creamy from a few weeks back. I am not able to sell it for three bucks. I might put it online for two bucks. And that will mean I lost money. The prices are coming down a bit on cards and here we have our first four trainer to add to the four trainer binder and it is a Dendra full art. Behind it is a Tyranitar EX terrestrialized. This one I can sell I think for six bucks. I purchased it for about five, four to five. So I must say I start to accept the terrestrialized Pokemon a bit. However, I saw it in the anime and I still thought that Charizard with the crown the first time I saw it was really I don't know, tough to accept, weird looking, however you want to call it. I prefer the regular one uh, at all times. So our next four trainer, this one might go to a friend even, so it will go from the envelope from the pal sitting there for a while already, straight into a buddy's binder. Do we have furthermore a 25th anniversary Professor Oak, the Japanese one, that's nice. Ooh, guys. Guys, guys, now we hit the gold. Well, it's not that expensive. I think I paid 20, 20, between 20 and 25. But gorgeous card from, I think it was also featured in Cosmic Eclipse. I will put on the screen if that is true or not, but I forgot the set name in, uh, is this Remix Bout? I can't remember really. But a beautiful card in really decent quality. Can't wait to put this one in the, in the four trainer during the season finale, so that's nice. A nice addition for some nice content. You, so you have Professor Oak here with the three starter Pokemons from Gen 1, I suppose. Charmander, Squirtle, Bulbasaur. Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments down below. And you can also choose Pikachu if that's the one. Uh, next up we have some... <laughs> I don't know what it is, but uh, hey. Cards arrived safe, apparently. We have a Palmy full art from Padian Fates. Been able to sell them on and off for 99 cents. I don't make a profit on that. I think I paid 70 to 80 cents. So it's just an auxiliary card to add to my inventory and to my envelope mailer, basically, to fill up the space. Oh, we even have two palmies. Oh, there it is. Oh, like I said in the previous meal day, we have another Pikachu. I have now seven or eight, collected seven or eight of these. Great card, purchased it for five, six bucks. Hope to find some more for that price. I think uh, Celebrations holds great value. From the last few years, it didn't really come down anymore. Obviously, from release, it has been dropping ever since, but just uh, slowly lo lately. And we have another Venusaur. So I purchased these Venusaur for four to five bucks. I now have four, maybe five, four to five bucks. I'm trying to sell them for seven. If I'm not able to sell them for seven, I might put them up for six. And uh, that way, I try to get a bit of my money back and to invest and spend in other cards again. I'm even fine with breaking even on the Venusaurs and uh, get some money, buy some new cards, sell again with a one dollar profit or so. It's a real grind, but it's really fun to do. Let's go into the next envelope here. Uh, duct tape all over the place, but no problem. Ooh, I hope to sell one of these Sipdoses nowadays, one of these days. 
And this is the third one that I have. I kept buying them for about 50, 60 cents. I'm trying to sell them for 120. Not working so far. Same goes for the Radium Blastoise. I sold four for five bucks a piece. Knives I sold four for four bucks a piece. Well, and I purchased them all for three bucks a piece, but now I'm sitting on three copies that no one wants to buy. So I might have to lower the price, get a bit of the money back. I'm glad it's one of these Pokemon and not some random Pokemon that no one wants. And we have a Mewtwo GX. I might have talked about this one before. I tried to sell one of them now, just uh, I added it to my inventory because I think it's a really cool card and then in advance I purchased a new one for myself already. I have had three and now I have one more, so I have four with the intention to sell one. Last card of this order, one more Septos, yeah these are popping up everywhere, I now have a really large stack of these now as well. So I have to admit as well in the meantime that during summer holiday the selling went above my expectations, beyond my expectations. Now uh, start of September it dries up a little, the, the demand for the cards is not there anymore like it was one to two to three weeks ago. I don't know when you get to see this video but uh, that's a nice little bit of knowledge isn't it? And uh, what do we have here? Uh, this one makes me sad to see. Yeah, this guy was uh, not nice. So I ordered some evolution cards from the guy. Uh, Hitmonchan, Zapdos, Charmander Refers and a Ghastly. Uh, first of all I ordered it, I paid for it and he sent me a message. Hey, I put it in the mail, I shipped it to you and the Hitmonchan is missing. Okay, why didn't you mention that before you shipped it out? Because I might want, have wanted to cancel the order. Three days later only, normally the post uh, takes one day. And three days later, I received the envelope. And this is what I got. We got a Ghastly. We got a Gyarados. I got a Charmander. Now let's start. With, I ordered everything near me. Let's start with the Ghastly here. So as you can see on the bottom of the card, it's full with surface scratches. It's really literally full with surface scratches. You might or might not be able to see the whitening on the left side here along the right left edge border. And then we move into the Charmander guys and uh, it is all scratched up. You see in the middle of the card here, let me check if I can fix the light. Let me check if I can show it to you this way, guys. Yeah, there it is. In the middle of the screen, I will have to zoom in on uh, digitally. And there we have some scratches. I might add the pictures that I sent to the seller as well. So I received a discount for the Charmander. And I got the Ghastly for free, basically. And I got a refund. <coughs> for the missing Hitmonchan so I paid a lot extra due to I paid shipping for the Hitmonchan I paid a lot extra for the Gyarados but I have to admit there is one tiny scratch on the Gyarados furthermore the Gyarados is pretty fine it's in decent condition as near mint yeah if you look like this the corners are a bit uh, damaged but that's always if depending on which uh, angle in the light you hold it but this one is near mint I would say it gets an 8 if it doesn't get an 8 it'll get at least a 7 that's how I like to uh, see it and not uh, look at 6's I can't say, stretch that enough I don't like to look at 6's and say oh this might get a 7 now you have to be pretty confident in your near mint getting an 8 and if it doesn't get an 8 then it still gets a 7 and a 7 is, in my opinion, if something is a 7, it is near, it is, uh, well, it doesn't really matter. We have a really great Gyarados here, that's the point. And I'm going to try to sell it. I purchased one before, I sold one before. Let's try to repeat that process. I already have one Gyarados for my own collection. It's a gorgeous card by none other than Mitsuhiro Arida. And obviously I'm going to try to sell the Charmander as well. 
in excellent to good condition. That's the unfortunate part. I paid a near mint price. Have to lose a bit of money maybe on it even. Well, that's not true because I just told you I received a small refund for it. Maybe we can, when uh, using the handy cam like this, we can show the scratches even better. Yeah, at least there you see that whole area. And then in the middle of the card, you see the scratches as well. It uh, depends on how you tilt the card, but basically everywhere scratches, you see. So, um, thanks everybody for watching. This is the one that I'm most excited about today. I will let you know what happens to the Venusaur. If I'm going to sell it for break even or try to make a small profit. The Gyarados will be almost guaranteed bit profit. We have the Pikachu that goes into my Pikachu collection, my Celebrations Pikachu collection. Pikachu's birthday collection rather. I think I think I'm gonna put Professor Oak back up for sale for a bit. Uh, Dendra goes into the full art trainer binder just like the other Professor Oak new setup. And uh, Pierce goes to my buddy that is collecting Darkness Ablaze, so shout out my friend. And uh, the Tyranitar up for sale as well. That are the main highlights of today's meal day. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope to do next week the season finale. I don't want to stretch every season like the previous season for 18 episodes, so I'll do my best. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Have a good day and a good weekend in advance.